So morning all. It is now Thursday morning. And lo and behold, it is the final ride of the final Titan. That is it, they're all gone. This is the last one that is going by Carrier. This is Michael's bike. I was meant to ride this yesterday, but the weather was atrocious yesterday afternoon. Absolutely disgusting. It was lovely and sunny. Thought, great, we'll get out on the bike, and then all of a sudden, it went really cold, got really icy, and the heavens opened, and it was obviously getting dark. Last thing I want to be doing is getting out on a wet, icy road with brand new tyres on one of these. Not something I want to do. So, delegated this morning for me to do the final ride. And obviously this is going by courier down to Oxford at 12 o'clock today. And my technicians have done all the ride tests, two lots of ride tests. I've actually delegated jobs out. So, there's the bike. Go and put 10k on the bike for me, please. And he's done all that. He's checked it all over. Absolutely perfect. Lovely, lovely, happy. And down to me just to do the quick final test, as I say, around the block. Checking it all out, checking the steering, and obviously checking it does 40 mile an hour. So, customer on this one has obviously opted to have it delivered. He's also opted to have a top box. So it's got 32 litre top box on the back. Plenty of room to put your sandwiches or your helmet or your kit bag. But this is the last one. These Titans are selling like the proverbial at the moment. £1,990 all in. That includes your on-the-road fees, admin, paperwork, and of course all the ride tests. Now a lot of people have inquired and said, we can go to a dealer and get a Titan in two to three days. Knock yourself out, go ahead. We take two to three weeks to prep one of these bikes. That includes about three ride tests on it. Two sets of bolt checks, QCs, PDIs, absolutely everything, which is why we don't get many of these back, because they're absolutely prepped to the maximum. And we know, with plenty of mileage on them, that they are going to behave themselves, and the customer is not going to be on the phone. My bike's broken down, I've only had it three days. What are you playing at? It's a brand new bike, it's not meant to be doing this. So hence why we ride test. Now, when we road test this the first time, the engine light came on. Oh, okay. Bang into the uh, OBD port and code scan it. And he went, yep, I can do that. So uh, he code scanned it. And I went, bet you I know what it is. Lambda. Yeah, Lambda sensor. Yeah. The early Euro 4 Titans were prone for Lambda sensors going. I said, what's the... He said, oh, we've got a really weird code. PO3, uh, POD31. I went, yeah, I will speak to the boys at Lexmoto. I spoke to them and he said, yeah, it's low voltage on your heater connector circuit on the O2 sensor. Ah, okay. I said, just go under the bike. I bet it's not plugged in. He looked under the bike. No, they hadn't plugged it in at the factory. So I'm going to blame the factory on that one. Problem solved though. Plugs it in. Cleared the codes. Bike is running fine. Now normally with the Lambda it doesn't affect the engine at all. But it gives you a horrible yellow orange engine light. But light is off as you would expect when people plug things in, which is why we obviously check, now that, uh, lambda, that lambda circuit, the actual plug is right up in the uh, engine bay, so you have to remove the seat bucket, get in, take it all apart, get in to re-plug it in. So uh, a little phone call was placed the other day, guys, can you make sure that when they build these bikes, they plug everything, what they done? Oh, they forgot the lambda, <laughs> obviously trainee at the factory assembly line, but things do get missed, which is why the PDI ride test and the QCs should all pick it up, which is what we did. So, job done. Indicators are all good. Brakes are lovely and crisp. Sun is absolutely horrible today. You've got that low spring sun, or winter sun, should we say. It's not spring yet. Won't be long to spring. But bike season is starting up again. Going to get another run out to the Super Sausage this Sunday like I do every Sunday when it's good weather and don't forget last Sunday of the month we all meet at the garage and we run down to Super Sausage hopefully I'll get to catch up uh, on the live streams with the guys I haven't seen Simon GTR he's not been in the garage for absolutely ages and uh, Andy with his tractor 
So two good channels there. Simon GTR 1400 and the GSA tractor. I was watching one last night and it is well worth a watch. Burning gas, hauling ass. Now Gareth rides probably my favourite bike and it's a Harley V-Rod. And it's got that big fat back tyre on it. I do love the night rods. It's the only Harley that I do like. And if I had the money, I would go to the dark side and buy a Harley. Maybe when I'm a, a few more years older and I get a bit more sedate in my pace, I might think about it. But the GTR does me. And talking of the GTR, I was brutal yesterday. I MOT'd my own bike. And uh, found a few faults. I'd squared the back tyre off. So uh, spoke to my tyre people, new Angel GT for that. And it's the reinforced one as well because it's the GTR. Just short of 180 quid. Okay, yeah, went round the bike. Oh, I've got a number plate light out. That's a fail. But uh, we did a PRS on that, passed and rectified, job done. Till I got to the front end, oh crap, my pads are right down to uh, about a mil and a half, right? Not below the limit, they're very close to the limit. So, right, let's get the pads done because I am out this Sunday. And we went on to the uh, parts ordering database. Believe it or not, GTR pads, standard pads, are out of order until the 27th of this month. I was like, oh God, so, ah, pads there. What are they? Oh, carbon ceramic. Uh, okay, how much are they? Twice the money, but... I ordered some carbon pads, so that thing is going to stop on a sixpence, and the pads last a little bit longer. So I've ordered a set of those, pads should be here today, and I'm going to get them fitted this afternoon, and that's cost me another 180 quid again. So £360 I've forked out this month just to get the bike back up to scratch, but obviously when we did the Rosper ride, one of the uh, examiners there, he said to me, do you realise you've squared off your edges? Yes, I know. How can you square off the edges of the tyre? Oh, it's called cornering hard. So, yeah, that's all been done anyway. So, we're heading back to the garage. Cup of coffee awaits. And uh, someone said to me, don't, uh, don't go on the chocolate cookies. Get yourself some rice cakes. Which is what I have done today. I've got myself some rice crackers and rice cakes. Down to about three cigarettes a day now. So, I'm doing very, very well. Cut right back on the smoking. I feel better for it. Have you noticed? No cough this morning yet but uh, yeah all good all happy days thanks to everybody's asked how's the smoking going yeah after eight years i quit for eight years and then started smoke for eight and i've just quit again so let's see how long i last before uh, we managed to give up fully but i'm still having the odd one or two here and there but i've cut right back so as always that's michael's bike anyway it's all good it's 15k on the clock it is now coming into the garage into uh, my little bay as I was saying, we've got uh, six bays in the garage. The bikes is normally off to the right-hand side of the workshop. We've got my two service bays to the left, and then the middle one is where we keep all the uh, other bikes. But uh, if you happen to come down to Eclipse Motorcycles, oh, look, there is the GTR and the BM and the VN6. There are loads and loads of bikes up for sale there. If you happen to be Paul and you're watching this, your CBF is there, nearly prepped, Paul. Another ride on that. I've got a service bike in there. So, from RB, have a good one, be well, ride safe, and I'll catch you up on the next one. Till then, it's a big goodbye from me.